Welcome back everyone. Sunday is love your pet day and of course who doesn't love their pet but there are so many animals who need a loving home and the walk for animals North County is a great way to help those pets still looking for their forever home. San Diego Humane Society's Tess Mengel joins us this morning to tell us more about this special event happening. Uh, first of all Tess look at the cutie that you've got in your lap right now and let us know I mean uh, where are you joining us from this morning? So I'm from the San Diego campus, San Diego Humane Society campus. I'm here with Piggle, who is a shepherd and 11 weeks and available for adoption. And so he wanted to join me today. Tess, you're <laughs> saying that uh, that he might be going pretty quickly, right? Finding a home. So you better better run down here pretty quick once we open at 10 a.m. <laughs> that makes sense. And I mean, of course, not only will you have uh, plenty of animals, but of course, people are, are the central point of this event uh, who are able to maybe add another to their family, uh, a furry friend uh, for the the walk for animals. So tell us about what this fundraiser is aiming to do. Yes, the Walk for Animals is one of San Diego Humane Society's biggest fundraisers, um, and the money raised goes to over 40,000 animals that come into our care. So it's a really important event for us. So we are really encouraging people to sign up, start a team, just bring their friends and family who love animals too. It's a great day at Kit Carson Park in Escondido. Starts at 7 a.m., the walk's at 9. Um, we'll have adoptable animals, pancakes, live music, and some really cute adoptable animals too. So it's just a great event. We're looking on the screen at some of the video from past events, and it just also looks like a great way for uh, people to get out with their own animals, celebrate the day in San Diego. Escondido is a beautiful place to be. So not only are you able to fundraise, but you're also just able to have an excuse to kind of get on and enjoy the weather, right? Oh yeah, we like to say that it's the best walk you'll take all year. You're with a huge community of animal lovers and you're making a difference. So it's really just the best event you could ever go to. All these dogs are just like walking around with their tongues out, having a good time. Looks like they're having a great time as well. Uh, let us know. I mean, I, I think a lot of people forget uh, how much goes into you guys making sure these animals are, you know, spayed and neutered and vaccinated and have food and water. There, there are a lot of expenses on your guys's end that you need for upkeep, right? Oh yeah, and that's why this event is so important. It raises critical funds for all of the services that we provide to the community, and especially little animals like this, this little one, um, Piggle. And we have Riot over here. If you want to see Riot, oh, yes. we have one more little cute. Please. Student. But the walk for animals is just so important for raising the funds that go towards these animals. So, Piggle and Riot, both yeah, looking for homes. <laughs> so tell us, uh, there are also going to be animals there up for adoption, right? Yes, we'll have um, some local rescue groups that will be joining us in Adoption Alley, and then we'll also be bringing some adoptable animals as well. And I mean, as far as people who are looking to register now, is there a cost to register? Is it uh, kind of a donate however much you want in addition to a, a regular cost? Give us the details of that. Yes, yeah, so if you go to sdwalkforanimals.org to register, um, right now kids are $10, adults are 20 but we recommend registering now because prices will increase on the day of the event, so um, now is the best time to register. And obviously, if you want to make an additional donation to the Humane Society, you can do that as well uh, on top of that registration fee, right? Yes, you can also make a donation when you register, or you can just donate. And we're also letting people know if they don't feel comfortable coming to an event, quite yet, which is understandable. They can always um, fundraise from home and walk from home as well. So there's lots of ways to participate. For maybe people who want to come out, enjoy the animals, and aren't sure if they want to take, say, Piggle, for example, home, uh, you guys are also taking foster families, right? Yes, we are. And we'll actually have one of our foster um, booths there. So if you want more information about how to foster, you can get information at our event. Are there going to be puppies there, Tess? I mean, people do bring their own puppies. There's going to be so many cute, adorable, furry friends there. You, it, it's just the best event. And some of them dress up, and oh my gosh, it's just so cute. <laughs> I just can't stop looking at Pickle there on your lap. He looks so cute and just having a great morning. Like you said, probably going to find a home very quickly. Uh, give us more information. Let us know where we can go for that and uh, where this event is taking place and what day. Yeah, so it's next weekend, February 26th, Kit Carson Park. Um, if you go to sdwalkforanimals.org, you'll find more information there. And we're also having another Walk for Animals on May 7th at Liberty Station. So you kind of have two options and two events to choose from or come to both. Awesome. Okay, multiple events. Your website has much more information. Tess, we appreciate you being with us. Piggle, we appreciate you as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>